trans women are not real women. By whose standards? And what makes a woman real? Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jiggly Caliente, resident judge of Drag Race Philippines. I am here at One Down and I'm about to do some Tabo takes. Filipinos tolerate the LGBT community but don't fully accept it. Facts. Big facts. Because if you truly accept the Filipino community and like the Filipino LGBT community, we would have basic human rights in the Philippines. If you're gay and you're found out to be gay in the Philippines, your job can fire you for it. How is that possible? How is it okay to not live in your truth? That is a basic human right. We're not asking for everything under the sun. We just want the same rights a cis hetero person has. And why should my sexual identity have anything to do with my job. If you're a doctor, being gay shouldn't matter. If you can heal a human being, that is your job. That is what you're supposed to do. That has nothing to do with your sexual orientation. I do not fit into the Philippine beauty standard. Oh, this is a triggering question. I am brown. Pango ang ilong ko. The contour makes my nose different, just saying. like. Because in the Philippines, the beauty standard is the girls from Blackpink, light skin, Asian beauties. And, you know, they're beautiful, yes. But I feel like, like the skin of the Filipino women are so much even more beautiful. Like, I would say a beauty standard should be Nadine Lustre. Her skin is beautiful and it's brown because I've met Nadine Lustre. It's just, she is the epitome of a true Pinay beauty to me. And also because she's young, God, I wish to be young too. So, yeah, I think, yeah, I don't fit the Filipino beauty standard. And hopefully that changes. I mean, it's 2022. Can drag define femininity as much as a beauty pageant can? Yes and no. Because drag is an art form. Beauty pageants are, is a, is a structured concept. Drag is art and art is subjective. Everybody has a different take on art. Everybody has a different point of view. Everybody has a different vibe with their art. So, and also with drag, there's drag kings. There's trans women that are drag artists. There's trans men that are also drag artists. So the umbrella for drag has no gender. Where femininity is more of the, the concept of woman and softness and where beauty pageant really relies on that aesthetic. Drag does not define femininity. Drag defines art. And art is anything and everything under the sun. That's the difference. Trans characters in mainstream media are portrayed from the perspective of cisgender people. Back then it was different with like, Hollywood wasn't as inclusive. That's like the best way to say this. It's like we had cis actors playing trans characters. I can't be mad at the thought of it back then because it was a gateway. It was a door opening for trans characters to at least stories to be told. But as time has gone on, we see that there are amazing trans actors and actresses that can play these roles. So, you know, there's girls like me, Lena Bloom, Angelica Roth, MJ Rodriguez, you know, Lace Ashley, we are out here to play and tell our stories. So now you, there's no excuse to say, oh, we couldn't find the trans person to play the trans person. No, we're here. You just choose not to cast us. Um, at least I know on Pose, people of the queer community and trans people were also in the writing booths to tell these stories. So that is different now certain stories like Dirty Sexy Money, where they made the trans character's voice sound like very white. That's not necessarily true, but again, every trans person is different. So I would rather the people that are behind the scenes, writers, directors, be of the queer community, specifically the trans community, so that our stories could be told properly. No cis person is going to tell me what the life of a trans woman is like because you don't know what it's like and I don't know what your life is like. So I will not be able to write your story the way you can write mine. 
trans women are not real women. By whose standards? And what makes a woman real? Not every woman, if you are gonna say, well, women have breasts, okay. Not every woman have big breasts, so body types are different. If you say, well, women can give birth, not every woman have the beautiful luxury of being able to give birth. So you can't say that if you have a uterus, you're a woman. Well, not every woman can, so, and sucks, but that's just what the world and that's how life is. So to me, women are, are just innate beings that have another sense of self because only women have that intuition. And I think both trans women and cis born women are also have this innate intuition. I don't know what it is, but it is like our spider sense because we just know when is about to go down and or, and I'm sorry, men don't have that. Thank you so much One Down for having me at Dabo Takes. You guys can follow me on Instagram. My name is Jiggly Caliente Official. And I love you. Bye.